survival games love them or hate them they're not all the same in this video i'll be showing you the top 10 survival games of 2022 many that are already released and playable and some upcoming gems you should definitely be looking forward to many of these games have different themes or features to make them unique to one another let's begin number 10 grounded from the same developers that brought us fallout new vegas grounded is a multiplayer survival game that reminds me a ton of the movie bugs life you're shrunk to the size of an insect in this one Imagine being as small as an ant, Ant-Man anyone? You have to cohabitate amongst hordes of insects that are giant in comparison to you and try to survive. So you'll use a combination of building and survival mechanics during your exploration, in a first person point of view, all in the environment of a backyard. The insects in this game react to your very actions, meaning making use of the shelter building system and the tools available to you are paramount. Whether you play solo to solo the storm or band together, there's a bunch bunch of secrets to discover along the way and a lot of action. Number 9 Occupy Mars The idea of space travel to Mars and the concept of populating the planet is fascinating, something you can actually do in this game through highly technical features. The idea is to construct a base on the planet and upgrade it to survive. You'll be conducting mining operations whilst attempting to sustain life through the most basic ways, by retrieving water and generating oxygen and growing crops. Certain broken parts will also need to be fixed in your vehicles and equipment. Exploring the planet is also interesting to discover its new regions. You will make use of power and develop your own power system with cables and pipes. Create greenhouses to grow your own food and flora and seek out the best places to construct a flourishing city. This game is an open world style sandbox survival game, featuring a realistic day and night cycle, meaning building solar arrays is actually genuinely useful. Number 8 Star Sand Star Sand throws you into a desert after being caught in a monstrous sandstorm, finding yourself alone and deserted upon an ocean of sand. Upon the sand dunes, you'll explore an open world with a ton of danger across its fast environments, with mysterious arcane elements and irregular happenings. Due to the heat, the idea is to seek out shade and find water from an oasis and conserve your energy, although you'll alternatively need to keep warm during the colder nights. There's story elements which are based on an extinct civilization with puzzle systems embroidered into the gameplay, pushing you to find answers regarding the lore of the land. When you build up a base, you'll need to protect it from invading insects and other predators looking for food, warm it up with fire, and secure your compound by any means possible. Number 7, Ancora. Lost Days. From the developers of one of my favourite island exploration games, Summer in Mara, this game is a free exploration game which is set in a mysterious world of equal delight and danger. With craftable tools, a structure building system and terraforming, this survival game shouldn't disappoint. It's set on a planet of the same name and it's a tale about growing up, making connections with nature and its creations to make friends and collecting resources to overcome obstacles after you crash land. Your hammer will let you build structures, your shovel will allow for digging and moulding of the terrain, and the bow for defending yourself. The planet is home to many biomes, from snowy mountains to deserts. You learn recipes during the gameplay and any additional skills which are important as you go. Number 6 Nightingale Those who like a first person experience should enjoy this PvE adventure title which is set in the Nightingale realms as you attempt to reach the city of the same name. As a realm walker, you explore a beautiful fantasy world that's entirely open. To survive the realms, you have to make use of building and crafting and also fighting with your combat skills as you portal hop to other realms. There are dark forests, swamps, deserts and jungles to trek through. Cooking food and building up a shelter is crucial here. Materials found can be made into tools for the harvesting of wood from trees or from rock and plant matter, but rarer items found can be made into specialised equipment from discovered schematics. These include gear and enhancements and weapons like guns. Structures can be emplaced and upgraded in a way to build up a community, with recruitable NPC workers to expand and achieve automation. This game can be enjoyed solo or on co-op mode where a range of weapons can be used to fight off monsters and beasts in deadly encounters. Number 5 Planet Crafter Another space survival sim, this open world game lets you transform the ecosystem of a hostile and arid planet into something more beautiful and sustainable for human life. 
The mission is to survive, collect resources and build up a base so you can construct the correct machinery and systems to create a new atmosphere with breathable oxygen to artificially geo-engineer the entire planet into something greater. All the right tools you need are craftables, ones you should be bringing to explore the crashed ships and ruins when uncovering the planet's mysteries. You also have a thirst system, you require oxygen, your temperature needs managing and your health is something to take note of. Mining ores is also something important. You'll need to build machines to create atmospheric pressure, heat up the planet and create a biosphere with enough oxygen to make the creation of life possible. Number 4 PAL World The idea of this game is to collect strange interesting creatures called PAL within the game's large world, allowing you to pit them against each other to fight, build, farm and work for you in factories. This is an interesting concept, a multiplayer open world survival crafting game that's a little different with a nice fresh art style. This game definitely has Pokemon vibes to it. The world has a shortage in food, harsh weather and enemies. You'll explore this place through many means, be it by foot on land or by riding something, moving across the sea or flying through the sky on a mount. Your creatures will micromanage your systems to construct your buildings. Everything you'd expect to do, your creatures can do for you, like farming by sowing, watering and harvesting, working in your factories to create products and guarding you during exploration. This game is something a little bit different but it really does captivate me. Number 3 Surround Dead Two similar games dropped recently and one of them is Surround Dead. Set in a post-apocalyptic world ravaged by a disaster filled with the undead. Imagine DayZ meets Roblox and you basically get this game. Set five years after a virus, this abandoned world is the setting of your character's journey to explore in its desolate landscape as you fight zombies using the items that you loot like melee weapons, guns and equipment. Items you can also acquire or sell to merchants in the safe zones and in trader hideouts. Hiding out in an appropriate spot in the wilderness or barricading yourself in buildings may be your last hope of survival. If you're caught out whilst looting during the day or forbid during the night. Managing your stats and vitals is crucial to stay alive in this game. Good luck my friend. Number 2 Sons of the Forest The Forest, perhaps one of the best survival games of all time on Steam. Well, The Forest is back for round 2. This is a second take in the Sons of the Forest, its sequel. This game begins in the search for a missing billionaire upon a remote island, which turns out to be a cannibal infested hellscape where you will certainly struggle to survive, be it a alone or with your friends. This open world survival horror sim won't disappoint and you'll be using the same building and crafting mechanics you used in the first game as you break sticks to create fires, using axes to cut windows and floors and building a small cabin or compound by the sea. There's no linear nature of this game, you're your own boss and you tackle the story as you wish or you can choose to get sidetracked. The thing I like about the forest is there's a story but it's also a survival game with a lot of freedom. The looming threat of mutated creatures is just as real as it was in the first game. There's some new ones that are completely different nightmares to what you've seen before. You might need a pistol or an axe to fend these ones off. The season cycle changes in this game. It's an important feature that determines what fish you will catch and when you need to save your food for, such as in the winter months where hunting results are scarce. This just seems like the first forest with upgraded systems and some nice new features to play around with. Number 1 Raft Raft recently released its 1.0 update and it's huge the final chapter. Raft is all about surviving upon the ocean or an island situated nearby, with the threat of dangerous sea life, namely sharks, and similar predators that will make your life tough. On an oceanic adventure as a castaway, you have to hook out debris and scrap from the water on a floating raft, building it up with your new materials and repairing the holes sharks bite out of it to prevent drowning or dying from them chasing you in the water. You can turn a humble series of wooden planks into into a floating mansion on the sea. The possibilities are endless in Raft as you learn new craftables in the research table and navigate across the ocean, diving below and fighting the dangers of the ocean floor. There's farming, cooking, crafting and building and countless mechanics with a little bit of a different spin on the survival genre which makes it more fresh. And that concludes this list of the top 10 survival games on PC in 2022. Be sure to leave a comment down below which was your favourite of the 10 survival games featured and why that is. And also tell me about any other great survival games which have come out this year or in the future very soon which I didn't mention. If you found a game that you liked make sure to like the video and subscribe for videos like this one. Thanks for watching.